Claire's camera lady today. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we're going to be fishing this lobster pot. We're going to cast it off the rocks up here in the far northwest of Scotland, in Wester Ross. And whilst we're doing that, whilst we're letting it soak, we're going to go and have a few other adventures. All right, guys, we found a great little spot. It's nice deep water down there. It's lovely and clear. It's not good along here in the past. There's loads of crabs and stuff down there, so we've got a good chance. This is a creel or a lobster pot. And the idea here is that the lobsters and crabs uh, smell the bait that's inside and they walk in through the holes. And then once it's soaked for a while and they're in there, you open these little elastic hooks and there's a door. So the animals don't get sort of hurt. They just wander their way in and then, and then they can't find their way out because there's like a sort of sock thing that stops them finding an obvious exit. So I'm going to use a mackerel. Well, I thought it was a mackerel. Turns out it's a very small pollock. Must have been shot spearfishing or perhaps it died on the hook or something like that. I wouldn't normally keep them at this size. Found it in my freezer. It's about two years old, so it's going to stink. It, it really did stink. So the idea here, there's a couple of cables in here. So I'm just going to tie it on with zip ties so that it's right in the middle of the cage. The idea being that these crabs and lobsters, they can't just reach in and have a nibble. If they want a piece of this, they've got to walk their way in through the entrance and find their way through to that back chamber and then chomp. And then they'll just sit there happily munching for ages. And we'll just find a nice little spot, chuck it in. Sorry about that. Uh, well, while we're letting it soak, we're going to go have some other fun. That there looks there looks pretty tempting. Uh, not sure how high, but 10 meters, something like that. I snorkeled down there. It's perfectly deep, so no bother. Been waiting to jump that little spot for a while. That's pretty good. Um, now we're going to go catch some shrimps. Shrimps here? Yeah. All right, we're going to go catch some shrimps, guys. Got a prawn net with us. Going to work up and down that beach. Let those nice big juicy lobsters walk into the krill pot. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I don't think I went fast enough that time. We're going to go all the way along the beach. See what we catch. That's it, really fast, go on. Big push, turbo time. What's in there this time? No, just nothing. seaweed. Still nothing. Maybe we have to go a bit deeper. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. Uh, still nothing. Still no shrimps. Maybe I'll have a turn. Oh, 
one little flatfish. Sh shine it up to me. One little flatfish. There you go. This little guy. What do you think, Freya? I think that's pretty amazing. The question is, big enough to eat? No. It's my camera lady. Well, shrimping didn't actually yield the usual seafood treasures that it sometimes does. We got two tiny little diddly biddly bubbers and we got a baby flatfish, but we had fun, didn't we Freya? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was fun. Check this spot out for a view, hey? Isn't that amazing? Right now, Freya, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pull up the krill. Yeah. It's been in there for almost four hours. So four hours, what are you saying? Four lobsters? Four lobsters! <laughs> No, it'd probably be a small crab or something, but anyway, guys, let's go. We're gonna go and pull up the krill. Come on, Freya, yeah. let's go. I'm gonna go down and get it. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I got a bit stuck. Last chance, what do you reckon? I don't know. Hopefully. No, I don't, I don't reckon anything. Nothing. Oh crab! We got a few things. Got a few things. Little crabs. Starfish. Oh, starfish! Alright, no, no lobsters, guys. No lobsters. But there's a starfish. Check this bad boy, look. Look, he's trying to reach in. Watch your fingers. Look, this guy here. That's a cool starfish. Look, he's trying to reach into the crab pot. Look what else we've got. Oh, chicken crab. crab. Green shore crab. This little green shore crab. Fill it up, fill it up. Green shore crab there. You can go back, join your friends. Oh, the others have all run away. Yeah, they've all run away. And then there's this little guy. Look, it's a tiny velvet swimmer. Look at this. It's a velvet swimming crab. These guys are really savage. They go, nyap, 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 nyap. Can you see me in this frame? These guys are real vicious little guys. They bite, 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 bite. And now I've just got to get this big old starfish out. Can I hold the starfish? Yeah, if I can get it out of here. It's kind of got tangled up. Hopefully you can. It's got itself properly stuck. Oh, I'm going to get this out. Well, come and have a look while I try and get it out. This is the spiny starfish. These things are absolutely cool. But what he's done is he's poked his arms deep inside through the net. So I'm going to have to reach in. He's a spiny starfish is the problem. He really wanted that fish because starfish are a bit thick. He didn't try and find the entrance like the crabs do. This guy just tried to reach. He was like, hey, I'm a starfish. I've got big, long arms. Here he comes up. Oh, this is a beast. Come on, Spidey. There we go. Look at this. Wow. Absolute beauty, that is. Now, how do you think these taste to eat? Uh... Dad, what are you doing? It's quite nice. What are you doing? Oh my god, Dad. Oh, that's good. There you go, top tip, folks. Uh, no, don't like a like... starfish. No, it's not good, actually. Ugh. What does it yeah, feel Freya, like? Do you want to hold it? Oh, yes, please. Oh. Spiny starfish. It's so slimy. It should be renamed Slimy Starfish. Wow, it really is slimy. I think it's got eggs. Yeah, this spiny starfish has eggs, I think. Is it? Yeah, look on there, that one. Well, maybe that's just part of them. Oh, guys, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Beautiful up here. We're up in Wester Ross in Scotland. Um, the creole, we got three little green shore crabs, tiny baby velvet swimmer, and a cool starfish, but nothing tasty to eat, sadly. 
here, what else? Uh, a couple of shrimps. <laughs> Pitiful little shrimping session. Nice little cliff jump. All in all, beautiful little evening in this little piece of paradise. All right, see you next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching, as always. Uh, if you did somehow manage to enjoy this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon for more fun in the sea. Thanks again, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.